It's Easter and Port of Dover is preparing for another rush of tourists. In the harbour, three P&O ferries are still laid up three weeks after the company sacked its crew. Europe's busiest port has lost a third of its capacity. P&O's website offers sailing updates and reassurance. Any customers, it says, booked to travel during this period of disruption who choose not to travel can have a full refund. The problem is that's not true. Julia Ferrari's family was booked to sail with P&O on Friday. She asked for her money back but was told she'd only get a refund if P&O cancelled her crossing, which it later did. As a customer, I'm most angry with. I'm obviously also angry about how they treat their stuff. But as a customer, the fact that the website says you can have a refund if you want one, and then you contact them and it actually means you can't have a refund, that I found almost more annoying than anything else. P&O has cancelled all crossings from Dover this weekend. The roads around Kent are already congested. The fear is gridlock looms again. Up to 1,000 cars were due to sail with P&O. They now have to find alternative ways of getting to France. This is going to be really a big problem. My heart does go out to people. You know, you know, this is an established brand. It was the main operator on this line. People thought that they were booking with a safe and secure company, and now they've been left high and dry. P&O plans to get Pride of Kent back to sea next week. The ship was detained by the regulator last week after failing a safety inspection. There were 25 issues. In a video meeting with staff obtained by ITV News, P&O's boss played down the seriousness of the deficiencies identified. Uh, which range from bins being uh, more full than they should be, which is a fire hazard, um, to watertight door indicator light not working. All legitimate points, all totally fixable. P&O wants Spirit of Britain sailing next week too. This is one of the ship's four engines. ITV News has learned that crew on board accidentally broke one just like this last week. P&O says the issue has nothing to do with the new crewing model.